Good morning, grade 8. Our lesson for today is all about basketball. Fitness is a very important component of success in basketball. Of course, you generally need to be tall and have good skills, but you also need the right physical fitness attribute. Players requires excellent strength and power, run speed, balance and agility, as well as a good level of aerobic endurance fitness. The component of fitness most important for success in basketball. Out of the options of body size and composition, muscle strength, muscular endurance, power, speed, quickness, agility, flexibility, balance and coordination, and cardiovascular endurance. The factors which are considered most important are speed and agility, though there are votes for most of the fitness components indicating that basketball requires good all-round fitness ability. So basketball is a team sports, so it is played by two competing teams. The objective of the game is to score in the opponent's basket and prevent the other team from scoring. The basket that is attacked by a team is the opponent's basket. So the basket which is defended by a team is the team owns basket. The team that has scored the greater number of points at the end of playing time shall be the winner. So now let us study about the nature and background of basketball. So basketball is a team sport wherein the objective is to shoot a ball through a basket horizontally positioned to score points while following a set of rules. Usually, two teams of five players play on a marked rectangular court with a basket at each width and Basketball is one of the world's most popular and widely viewed sport. A regulation basketball hoop consists of a rim 18 inches in diameter and 10 feet high mounted to a backboard. A team can score a field goal by shooting the ball through the basket during regular play. A field goal scores two points for the shooting team if a player is touching or closer to the basket than the three-point line. And three points, known commonly as a three-pointer or three, if the player is behind the three-point line. The team with the most points at the end of the game who wins. But additional time or overtime may be issued, issued with the game ends with a draw. The ball can be advanced on the court by bouncing it while walking or running or throwing it to a teammate. It is a violation to move without dribbling the ball, to carry it, or to hold the ball with both hands then assume dribbling. Various violations are generally called fouls. Disruptive physical contact or a personal foul is penalized and a free throw, and a free throw is usually awarded to an offensive player if 
He is fouled while shooting the ball. A technical foul may also be issued when certain infractions occur, most commonly for unsportsmanlike conduct on the part of a player or coach. A technical foul gives the opposing team a free throw, and the opposing team is also retained possession of the ball. Basketball has evolved many commonly used techniques of shooting, passing, dribbling, and rebounding, as well as specialized player positions and offensive and defensive structures and techniques. Typically, the tallest members of a team will play center, power forward, or small forward positions, while shorter players or those who possess the best ball handling skills and speed play point guard or shooting guard. While competing basketball is carefully regulated, numerous variations of basketball has or have developed for casual play. Competitive basketball is primarily an indoor sport played on a carefully marked and maintained basketball court but less regulated variations variations are often played outdoors in both inner city and remote area so now let us discuss about the history of basketball so listen basketball was invented in december 1891 by the canadian clergyman educator and physician James Naismith. Naismith introduced the game when he was an instructor at the Young Men's Christian Association Training School, and now Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts. So, at the request of his superior, Dr. Luther H. Gulick, he organized a vigorous recreation suitable for indoor winter play. So the game had nine players, and the goals were wooden pitch basket and fixed to the walls. By 1897 to 1898, teams of five became standard. The game rapidly spread nationwide and to Canada and other parts of the world, played by both women and men. It also became a popular informal outdoor game. U.S. servicemen in World War II, year 1939 to 1945, popularized the sport in many other countries. A number of U.S. colleges adopted the game between about 1893 and 1895. So in 1934, the first college games were staged in New York City's Madison Square Garden, and college basketball began to attract heightened interest. By 1950s, basketball had become a major college sport, thus paving the way for a growth of interest in professional basketball. The first pro league, the National Basketball League, was formed in 1898 to protect players from exploitation and to promote a less rough game. This league only lasted five years before this banding. Its demise found a number of loosely organized leagues 
throughout the northeastern United States. So one of the first and greatest pro teams was the original Celtics, organized about 1915 in New York City. They played as many as 150 games a season and dominated basketball until 1936. The Harlem Globetrotters, founded in 1927, a notable exhibition team, specializes in amusing court, antics, and expert ball handling. In 1949, two subsequent professional leagues, the National Basketball League, formed in 1937, and the Basketball Association of America, 1946, merged to create the National Basketball Association, or NBA. The Boston Celtics, led by their center Bill Russell, dominated the NBA from the late 1950s through 1960s. So by the 1960s, 1960s, pro teams from coast to coast played before crowds of many million annually. Will Chamberlain, a center for the Los Angeles Lakers, was another leading player during this era. His battles with Russell were eagerly anticipated. Karim Abdul Jabbar, also a center, came to prominence during 1970s. Chabar perfected his fame Kaifu shoot while playing for the Los Angeles Lakers and dominated the position. The NBA suffered a drop in popularity during the late 1970s, but was resuscitated principally through the growing popularity of its most prominent players. Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics and Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers are created with injecting excitement into the league in the 1980s through their superior skills and decade-long rivalry. During the late 1980s, Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls rose to stardom and helped the Bulls dominate the NBA during the early 1990s. A new generation of basketball stars, including Shaquille O'Neal, of the Orlando Magic and Larry Johnson of the Charlotte Hornets have sustained the NBA growth in popularity. In 1959, a Basketball Hall of Fame was founded in Springfield, Massachusetts. Its roosters include the name of great players, coaches, referees, and people who have contributed significantly to the development of the game. So now let us proceed to the facilities and equipment of basketball. First, the court. The court is a flat, hard surface free from obstruction with the dimensions of 28 meter in length and 15 meter in width. Next, the ball. It is a spherical inflated ball used in the game of basketball with a standard size of 75 or 75.88 centimeter in diameter. Next, last is the ring or basket. It is the steel rim of 18 inches in diameter with a net attached to it and is affixed to a basket 
and it affects the A back board. Next, let us discuss the basic skills of basketball. First, shooting. Shooting is the act of making an attempt to throw the ball to the basket to earn points. Next, dribbling. Dribbling is the act of continuously bouncing the ball to the floor by one hand or both hands alternately in moving to a certain point of the court. Next, rebounding. It is the act of successfully gaining the positions of the ball after a missed shot or missed free throw. Next, passing. Passing is the act of transferring the ball positions to a teammate using hand not the throwing overhead or bouncing the ball or using a basketball pitch method. The blocking is a defensive act of preventing or altering an opponent from shooting the ball. Next, we will discuss about the rules and regulations in basketball. First is playing time. So the game shall consist of four periods of 10 minutes. So there shall be an interval of 20 minutes before the game. So there shall be an interval of play of 2 minutes between the first and the second period, between the third and fourth period, before every extra period. So there shall be a half time interval of 15 minutes. Next, beginning of the game. The first period begins when the ball leaves the hand of the referee on the jump ball. All the other period begins when the ball is at disposal of the player taking throw in. The team shall exchange basket at the second half. The shall not start unless all the five members of the team are ready to play. Next, playing the basketball. The ball is played as defined as playing it with your hands only and may pass. Thrown, top, rolled, or dribbled in any direction subject to the restriction of these rules. The rules, the player shall not run, kick, or block with any part of the leg or strike it with a fist. Next, timeout. A timeout is an interrup interruption of the game requested by a coach or an assistant coach. So, um, rules, uh, each team out shall last for one minute. A timeout is given during a timeout opportunity for both teams. The ball become dead. The game clock is stopped. So for both teams, the ball becomes dead following a successful or a last free throw. For non-scoring team, a field goal is scored. So two timeouts may be granted to each team at any time during the first half, three at any time during the second half, and one during extra. Period. So, unused timeout may not be carried over to the next half or the extra period. Next, substitution. A substitution is an interruption of the game requested by the substitute to become players. The so rules, a team may be substitute a player or players during substitute opportunity. A substitution may transpire during for both teams. The ball becomes dead, the game is stopped, and the official has ended his or her communication with the score table. For both teams, the ball becomes following a successful 
for a last free throw. For the scoring team, a field goal is scored. A substitution shall not be permitted to the scoring team when the game clock is stopped following a successful field goal during the last two minutes of the last period and the last two minutes of the extra period. And a substitution opportunity ends when the ball is at the disposal of a player for a throw in our first and only free throw. Next, let us discuss about fouls. So, foul is an infraction of the rules concerning the illegal and personal contact with an opponent or unsportsmanlike behavior. So there are different types of fouls. First, personal foul. It is a player's personal contact foul with an opponent. So whether the ball is alive or dead by holding, pushing, charging, tripping, or impeding the progress of an opponent by extending his or her arm, hand, elbow, shoulder, hip, knee, leg, foot, nor bending his or her body in into a into an abnormal position. Next, double foul. So double foul it is a situation to which two opponents commit personal fouls to each other and approximately at the same time. Next unsportmanlike foul. It is when a player contact foul which in the judgment of official is not legitimate attempt to directly play the ball within the spirit and intent of the rule. Next, technical foul. The technical foul is any deliberate non-cooperation or non-compliance with the intent or spirit of the rule. So, rule in technical foul, disregarding warning given by the official, disrespectfully touching the official, the commissioner, the table officials, or the team bench personnel, disrespectfully communicating with the officials, the commissioner, the table official, officials, or the component. Language or gestures likely to offend or incite the spectators. So baiting an opponent or obstructing his or her vision by waving his hand near his eyes. Excessive swinging of elbows, then last delaying the game by deliberately touching the ball after it passes through the basket or by preventing a throw in from being taken from lead. So the goals uh, is made when a live ball enters the basket from above and remains within passes through the basket. The so rule, a goal is credited to the team attacking the opponent's basket into which the ball has entered as follows. So a goal from free throw, one point. A goal coming from two point, field goal area counts two points. A three point shot is counted if the goal comes from a three point field goal area. Then last, the ball has Touch the ring on a last or only free throw and is legally touched by an offensive or a defensive player for it. Enter the basket, the goal counts to points. So, what are the duties and powers of the official in basketball? So, the referees, what are the duties and powers? So the referee shall first inspect and approve the equipment to be used. 
Next, designate official game clock 24 7 clock and stopwatch recognize the table official. Next, select the best ball for the game. Administer the jump ball to start the first period and the alternating position. Next, have the power to stop and forfeit the game. Next, examine the score sheet at the end of playing time he she feels necessary. Next is make the final decision whenever necessary or when the official disagrees. Then last, have the power to make decision on any point not necessarily covered by the rules enumerated. Time duties. So the timer shall be provided by a game clock and a stopwatch and child number one measure playing time, timeouts and intervals of player. Next, ensure the, that the game clock signal sounds very loudly and automatically at the end of playing time in a period. Next, use any means possible to notify the officials immediately. If his or her signal fails to sound or is not heard, then last, notify the teams and the official at least three minutes. Then 24 second clock operator. So what the what they are their duties. So the 24 second clock operator shall be provided with a 24 second clock which shall start or restart when a team gains control of a live ball on the playing court and a throw in or the ball touches or is illegally touched by any player. Then last, score and the assistant scorer. So their duties is the team line up and their corresponding numbers, the players scored points, numbers of fouls, and the timeout used by the team. Then last, the assistant scorer operates the scoreboard and assists the scorer. So that is our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. Happy learning!